Okay, so let's play. Jumping Joby Wood. One of the most special places on the island of Sodor is the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, where Captain Chug Rocky rolls How do you get a crane back on track? And Harold comes. One morning, Sir Topham had arrived at the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Thomas. I have decided to become a vegetarian. I don't think anyone was expecting that. My doctor has prescribed a strict diet of Joby Wood. Well, this episode just got weirder. Thomas, you and Edward are to go to Misty Island to pick up the Joby Wood. You must leave right away. Thomas puffed proudly. We'll go by boat. Maybe we should take the tunnel. Good thinking. The logging loco spluttered and stuttered. You'll need our help. Old Wheezy can be wild. And hee-haw. Well, hee-haw's just plain crazy. That's right. Thomas was stern. No, thank you. Edward and I won't need your help. Well, Thomas, if they're offering, maybe we'll... Old Wheezy and Hee Haw won't be any trouble to us. Well, actually, they sound a little intimidating. We'll show them how to be really useful. You know, Thomas, I have a bad feeling about this. Come along, Edward. So, Thomas and Edward clickety-clack through the Misty Island Tunnel. Soon, they were on Misty Island. Thomas was excited. Edward's firebox fizzed and fluttered. This is a very strange place. Thomas chuckled cheerfully. Don't worry, Edward. I know everything about Misty Island. Come on, I'll show you around. Edward's wheels wobbled. Very well, Thomas. After you, this is the sawmill. It's very noisy. I think we should get the logging locos here. No need, Edward. Let's carry on. This is the wood chipper. It strips the branches off the Joby wood. Don't get too close, Edward. Why, Thomas? Look at whoa! Thomas, I think we should call the logging locos. I'm sure we can handle it, Edward. Let's move on. And these two are Old Wheezy and Hee Haw. They're crazy. I think we need help, Thomas. Come on, Edward. I'll show you the best part. Then, Thomas puffed perkily to the zip line bridge. Come on, Edward. We have to cross this to get to the logs. Edward gasped. Don't worry. It's just extremely dangerous, highly unstable, and scientifically impossible. What could go wrong? So, Edward wheezed onto the zip line bridge. The bridge moved slowly ahead. Then, Edward stopped. He was scared. Just then, Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand came rolling in. We thought you might need help. And it looks like you do. That's right. Yes, yes, we need help. I drastically need... No, thank you. We don't need your help. We can do it alone. We'll push the log safely to Sodor and home. Okay, Thomas. If you say so. No, please wait. We do need help. 
help! And with that, the logging locals left. No, don't leave me here! Then, Thomas clickety clacked along the track to Old Wheezy. I'll have these logs loaded in no time. Old Wheezy puffed and popped into action. Edward was worried. Oh dear! Don't worry, Edward. You must be firm. Suddenly, Old Wheezy threw logs everywhere. Logs flew everywhere. Just then, Bash Dash and Ferdinand clacked back. Jumping Joby Wood! Looks like you'll need our help now! That's right! Please help me! No thank you, we don't need your help. We can do it alone. We can bring the log safely to Sodor and home. Please don't listen to him! Okay, if you say so. And with that, the logging locals left. Thomas chuffed towards Hee Haw. I know Hee Haw will help us. But Hee Haw had run out of oil. It spluttered and stuttered. So Thomas's driver filled him up with oil. Hee Haw jittered and quivered. Thick smoke came from Hee Haw. What's that smell? Then there was trouble. Hee Haw caught on fire. Whoa, that ain't good. Thomas raced to safety. Back at the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, the fire alarm rang loud. Quick, where's the fire? It's on Misty Island, Flynn. Great, I'm going as far away from Misty Island as I possibly can. I'm scared of fire. Back on Misty Island, the fire was growing out of control. Thomas raced towards the tunnel. Edward cried out. Thomas, you can't just leave me here. Sure I can. No you can't. I'm the number two blue engine. I'm not that easy to replace, you know. <sighs> Fine. And Thomas raced back to help Edward. He raced up the zipline bridge and shut it into Edward, who sailed across the zipline bridge. Thomas soon followed, and the two engines raced to the tunnel back to Sodor. Back at the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, Sir Topham had arrived. Did everyone get out safely? We don't know, Sir Topham Hat. Did you survey the island with a helicopter? We couldn't find a helicopter. <laughs> You're fired. Just then, Edward and Thomas returned through the tunnel. Thank goodness you're okay. I'm sorry, Sir Topham Hat. We didn't get any Joby Wood for your new diet. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure I'll think of something. But tell me, what started the fire? I cannot tell a lie, Sir Topham Hat. It was Edward. <laughs> what? It's not my fault. I tried to get him to listen to reason, sir. He just did not want to be safe. And when the logging locals offered help, he would have nothing to do with it. That's not what happened at all, Sir Topham Hat. Don't worry, Edward. I know just what to do. They can't send me away. They'll never find someone to replace me. This is the worst episode ever. Hey guys, click here to watch another video and click here to subscribe to our channel. Bye!